Problem four of the FEP Hydraulics Chapter 6 homework is going to continue the work we did for, for problem three, where we found the inlet flow rate as if it behaved in an orifice or a weir. Now we're going to try to figure out what depth where that, where that transition occurs from weir flow to orifice flow. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to set that weir flow equation equal to the orifice flow equation. So remember weir flow, CW, L, H to the 3 halves for that flow rate, and then orifice, C sub, w, C sub D, A, square root of 2GH. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, let H equal to H. And so we'll have that variable on both sides that we'll solve for. So we put our values in here. We have, again, the 3 for the weir coefficient, because we're assuming that's a free flow weir, 9.4 for the weir length. And then we'll have that unknown h to the 3 halves. And then we'll set that equal to the discharge coefficient for the orifice, the 0.6 default value, times the area of that orifice, 4.5 feet squared, times the square root of 2 times 32.2 feet per second squared uh, times, and now we're going to substitute that H into this equation. So we'll just call that capital H so we have the same variable on both sides. Uh, resolve this side and we get 28.2 H to the 3 halves. And we'll set that equal to, this becomes 2.7 times the square root of 64.4 H. So go ahead and divide both sides by h to the 1 half. So I have h to the 3 halves over h to the 1 half here. And then I'll take this 2.7 times the square root of 64.4 is 21.67 and divide that by the 28.2. I'll divide that by 28.2. And I wind up with uh, an h to the 2 over 2 or h to the 1 equal to 0 0.768 feet.